Alright guys, what's up? It's New Tie from Prodigy Collective. Today I'm going to be breaking down a sample I made, a sample like Prod Havoc from Global Cartel. And I'm going to be putting some cool drums on it today. And I'm going to be walking you guys through the sample first. So, so I started off with um with this mandolin mandolin type situation and here's how it sounds uh with with effects like after i finished it it sounds kind of gritty kind of foreign all that stuff and um i'm gonna take the effects off and walk to you walk you through what effects i put on it so it starts off really high like this I added some reverb to start off with um, some delay and about 50% dry wet. So here it is. Then I put half time on it, make it slower, make it deeper, super slow, okay? Then I put isotope vinyl and turn the year all the way down, change the warp type. Makes super gritty, so here's it before. Then I put isotope vinyl on it. Super gritty, right? Super, super old, super, super dirty, super dirty sounding. And then I brought in an EQ to take out the lows and raise the highs a little bit with a little bit of a high cut. And here's how the final uh, mandolin sounds. And yeah, I just have some bass notes. It's dun, 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 like that. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it, it's not, it's like dun. That's the main melody you're hearing. And then it comes up high with that uh, octave from the D sharp. And yeah. Now let's move on to the the next part, which is the the violin type string situation. So. Okay, anyway, super cool sound. Got it from Expand. And all I did was put some isotope vinyl on it. And so what I did for the notes is I um I took the well, I took a D, a D sharp every single time because it hits it hits a D sharp, D sharp, D sharp, D sharp on every one. And then um on the threes, I went from F, see that F on that three? I put that on the violin. And then B, A, B, A sharp, B. Okay. And it sounds like this. So together, those two sound like this. Pretty like cool, foreign sounding, super awesome. Um, I took a I took a pad from another expand. I use expand all throughout here, even though I normally use other things. Expand's a great, very versatile plugin. So I used the Siberia pad, and again I made the root note D sharp every time, and then I uh, took the notes from the violin and did F, B, A sharp. B, and I made chords out of them so now it's so that's the pad and then I made a little arp type situation with these vocals I just put isotope vinyl on that by the way I've made an, a little arp type situation with these vocals the pad and the vocals kind of go together so here's I put reverb on it to blend it all together to make it sound super spacey and stuff like that to kind of contrast between the darkness. So here's what it sounds with all those so far. Super dark, foreign again, those are the two words that come to mind when I think of it. The last thing I added was this flute from Splice. And all I did, it was in D and I pitched it up one semitone to get it into D sharp. And this is what it sounds like. 
Then I pitched it up to get it to A sharp. Or was it B? Uh, it was A sharp, yeah. So, I pitched the same sample up. A super cool siren-like flute. Super, super dirty again. Super, like, proud havoc. Okay. Here's the whole entire sample. I'll add the flute, actually. There you go. All right, now I'm gonna add um, the drums. I'm gonna go straight into the drums. I use the Without Warning um, from 21 Savage and uh, Offset. It's This is the rim, this is what it sounds like. I added an EQ to boost the highs and some reverb to uh, with a very short decay time to kind of close it off, to kind of... Uh, Make it make it more smooth. Make it uh make it fit in the mix better, I would say. So just gonna put it on the threes. And I'm going to turn the velocity all the way up. So here's what it sounds like with the rim. There we go. Fire. Alright, I'm gonna make a hi-hat pattern like Proud Havoc. I'm gonna start out with a two step. Copy and paste that over. Mm, perfect. But that's not saucy enough. That's not saucy enough. So, I'm gonna add a little roll right here. Like this. There we go. So I uh, added a roll right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna add another roll like this. Copy and paste that right here. And you know what I wanna do? I wanna start it and make it decay like that. Then I'm gonna add a little short roll again. I'm gonna add a triplet roll this time slower. Whoops. A triplet roll right down here. Again, get that to max velocity. So I'm going to do one of my velocity tricks. I raise the first and the last one and I make it go down and up. Super cool, wheezy, some, that's some wheezy sauce. I'm, Havoc might do that, but that's some wheezy sauce right there. It's on D sharp, and I think D sharp is going to work for the spins. It's all in D sharp minor all the way through, so I'm just going to be using that. Make sure I put a low end, I uh, put a high end cut and boosted the low end. There we go. Let's get that back. It's on the wrong D sharp. All right, just... We're gonna do a simple 808 pattern. What I like doing, simple 808 pattern, right? For the first, for the first bar and a half, like. Then I'm gonna add a big triplet roll. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this one's velocity to 100. Another saucy trick. 
I'm gonna lower the velocity down so that it hits harder on the one, right? So. Oh, I'm gonna keep it going. Oh, I wanna do, I wanna do this. I'm gonna offset this. Instead of right here, I'm gonna put it uh, one back, one forward. And okay, what I'm gonna do is that. And I'm gonna do the sauce. Okay. I'm gonna bring this down to about a hundred. I'm gonna slowly gravitate it downwards. I think we're good like that gonna add an open hat uh, and by the way i have saturation on the master so that the 808 sounds nice and distorted gritty we'll lay the open hat under the 808 so it gives a cool distorted sound gonna do now is add a triangle a triangle oops that is the rim a triangle on the one It's out of snare. That snare sounds really aggressive. Boost it one semitone and switch it to Complex Pro so that the texture sounds very similar. Ready? Thank you guys for watching. That's how you make a um a beat like Prod Havoc. A dark orchestral beat.